The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Good, Lewis. Well, I started out the show like we usually do, looking at the German DAX. Uh, before we get into the other parts of the German DAX and a few of those, I want to show you the German Bund uh, and other things. I would like to mention um, someone. In fact, I had two, uh, one email and uh, one phone call today from uh, people giving me inside information of what's going on in the world. Well, I'm going to share that with you, but before I do that, I want to tell you you that I've been in this business for ooh, seven decades and see 15 yeah seven decades and wow this will be my 10th decade 59 60 60 wow a long time you know I have never gotten a piece of inside information that worked I mean zero never nada bupkis nothing the inside information is uh, that there is Trump is going to sign the uh, Hong Kong uh, bill supporting the protesters, and when he does that, China is going to put the kibosh on the trade deal. Now, <laughs> if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge left. Let me explain one other thing that I remember very, very vividly about my days at Drexel. Every Monday morning, they would have a stockbrokers meeting, and of course, it would have a really nice uh, little uh, Danish buffet and stuff. So everybody in the office went. There were four of us in our in our commodity department, and there were, there were some support staff there. And each each week they would try to, you know, to sell the, the sell the shares that the, their own their own their own deck had. Like, like the, the the broker for Bob Hope was there, and he always had things to sell. Um, and so, uh, you know, they would sell things, and you know, say, well, if you can sell uh, amalgamated copper or whatever it is, uh, just go ahead and do it. Anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So I was thinking of the movie. If you remember Wall Street from 1987, you know, Gordon Gecko how he would call the Wall Street guy and says, blue horseshoe loves Anacott steel and uh, that kind of stuff. And believe me, if you don't think that stuff goes on, it goes down all the time. In fact, that's two calls I got today is probably exactly that. This particular day, they put a special announcement out that Resorts International, which was a big um, hotel conglomerate that was going into gambling, and it had been going crazy. It had been going up and up and up and had some wild swings and everything and said, that if you want to have any customers that want to short Resorts International, they have to put up 200 percent margin. There was not a not a burp, not a, a movement in the room about it. And so I, I asked myself, why are they doing it, Bob? And he, he said, well, he said, we're worried about the speculative fever that's going on in Resorts International. We want to perfect, protect our customers. I said, okay, that sounds good. I walked out and I went over to the, to the machine and I pulled up a chart on Resorts International, and you could get some pretty good charts. You couldn't get in today, but on this particular chart, uh, Resorts International had an absolute beautiful three drive, uh, three drive to a top pattern. Yeah, yeah, I was there from 76 to 82, 76 to 82. And uh, at Drexel, and uh, so I looked at it and I said, "Gee, that looks pretty good." So I, I, when we finished, I went over to, uh, I went over to Bob and said, "I want to, I want to sell uh, 100 shares of Resorts International." He said, "Well, I rec highly recommend it, but if that's what you want to do, you know, go ahead and do it." So I went into the wire room and I explained to Neil, the wire operator, what I wanted to do. I said, "I want to sell 100 shares of Resorts International at a price," and I put a stop in of about six dollars. It was trading at about 100. I don't remember. It was over 100 bucks a share. And uh, a few minutes later, uh, about 15, 20 minutes later, Neil came back and he said, uh, I just thought you'd like to know, he said, but six other brokers that did the same order you did. And I said, what? And he said, yeah. 
And uh, I said, oh, my goodness. Anyway, as luck would have it, um, the Resorts International got hit with a little bit of bad news, and it dropped like 14% uh, in, in a matter of uh, a day and a half. And, you know, they always joked to me about that. But uh, the only reason I did that was that they were telling you that something was wrong. If you remember the silver bo uh, bull market in 1980, what happened was the directors of the COMEX exchange were heavily short silver, and so they were really getting cream. So what they did was they restricted short sales, okay, and they limited, they lim and they made margin 200 percent. So that basically put the end of the bull market. So you've got to be aware of some of these things that these people put out, uh, and always be aware, uh, be, be very suspect, especially nowadays, folks, the way the uh, the way the news comes out, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, I mean, we we saw something yesterday about Hong Kong. It was so totally false that it, it, it was, it would it defied imagination. So, anyway, just remember that that's what's happening. Okay, now let's move on to a couple other of these charts. Yeah, hey, hey, don't believe it until you see it on the charts, folks. That's why if you're a technician, you you got an advantage because they can't lie to you. If, if prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. That's basically the bottom line. So keep in mind that's what uh, that's what you're looking at. So pay attention to that. Very very interesting, as we say this morning. All right, we looked at the DAX chart. The next one we want to take a look at is we're going to take a look at the DAX chart on a 60-minute chart. This is a little different. You'll see that this one has been in a correction here. Uh, oh, they want. Oh, Marshall wants. <laughs> okay, all right, Marshall. Since we have a little time, uh, Marshall wants to know uh, how Sarah and I met. Uh, I was on an airplane going from back from China through Hong Kong into Narita, Japan, and there was a lovely young girl sitting in front of me. And um, as we left the plane, she had a hard time reaching her luggage. You know how that trick goes. Please, sir, help me with the luggage. And so I, I said, did I saw she was rather sad. And I said, you know, what's wrong? And she said, well, my mother is at the end of her time, and I'm going back to uh, Canada, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm just very sad. I said, why don't you come into the lounge with me? And I said, well, we've got three and a half hours before we take the flight. She was going to San Francisco. I was going to L.A., and so we went in, and I had my laptop, and so I put up a uh, showed her what I did and stuff like that, and I was using all the good Italian moves that I could possibly do. I put on a clean shirt, and I combed my hair, and uh, so we started talking about the stock, and she was in AIG. And so I looked at the start chart of AIG, and there again was a beautiful three drive to a top pattern at 72 and three quarters. And she says, well, I've been thinking of selling it. And so she sold it. I, it was under 72 and three quarters, 72 and a half, maybe whatever it was. Uh, it went to 36 cents. <laughs> anyway, um, yep, she married me for my charts. You're absolutely right, Maria. <laughs> and Maria, you've been fortunate enough to meet Sarah, so you know what, uh, what how, how nice and lovely she is. Anyway, uh, that's that's the story about that. So, by the time by the time she got to Toronto, I had already landed in uh, Los Angeles, and her sister swore that she was being stalked. And so Sarah asked me if she was being stalked, and I said, most definitely. <laughs> All right, let's move on here. Okay. Oh, we oh, my, I had the first break. You guys are great. You got me through the first break with no damage. This is good. This is good. Let's bring up another chart here to take a look at it, because we want to watch a, a few of these others that, that look pretty interesting, especially... Uh, uh, the natural gas chart, folks. We'll get back to that when we come back from our break. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, before we do the natural gas, let's talk to Tim in Cleveland, Ohio. Tim, are you there? Yes, indeed, I am, Larry. What can I help you with, my friend? And before I get to my question, I long wondered, you, you live in Tucson, right? The Tucson? Yes, sir, I sure do. Yeah, do you, do you happen to know Tito Francona, the manager of the Indians? Because you seem I, to know everybody out there. <laughs> I, I have met him a few times. Uh, Robin Ventura, who manages the Chicago White Sox, actually is a very good friend of the family. And my daughter used to babysit for uh, one of his uh, four kids when he was. Uh, he lived in Santa Maria. He was a he was a star. He went from high school right into the majors when he was 18, and he played for you know 20 years for the White Sox and Yankees. And so I I met him through. Uh, Robin Ventura, they had a uh, an old timers thing here at the University of Arizona, and, and Robin was there, and I and I met him once. He's a really nice guy, and he could run for mayor. He'd be elected ninety nine to one. I mean, he's he's just he, everybody loves him. Well, I know Francona. I think he plays a lot of poker, and I know you you're interested. In that. So I, I was just going <laughs> to ask you if he was a good po poker player. If you oh yeah, with yeah, him. yeah. Oh yeah, T uh, he he and I play a lot together. I'm on I'm on TV watching him play. I I play very. <laughs> I, I'm I'm very low limit. I play uh, usually I play four eight Texas Hold'em, which is four dollars eight dollars. You can buy in for a hundred dollars, but I like to play in the tournaments because you buy in for fifty bucks, and if you win, you win six or seven hundred. So you 
got a nine to one, you know, a payout. Plus, you know, if you're not bad, uh, you know, and I, I only play really good cards and I pay attention to what's going on. So I do win, but not a lot. But, it, you know, it's entertaining to me. But no, those guys are in a totally different, uh, totally. I, I know I see them on TV and I watch them and I played against in the tournaments with some of them. I mean, but I, I have not. Uh, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not anywhere near that level. I, and I don't want to be. I love doing what I do. They can't do what I do. And I think and I can't do what they do. So it all all evens out, I think. <laughs> Well, I, I was more interested in whether you had actually played with uh, Tito Francona. The uh, no, never, never uh, have. No, I've seen, I've seen him. On, okay. Yeah, I've seen him on TV. I never played poker with him. I did meet the gentleman, uh, but I, I don't know. Uh, haven't played with him. No. Okay. Those guys. That, I don't play in those games. They're just, uh, they're just too high for me. And <laughs> okay. Well, Larry, um, I, up against something that uh, I haven't run into quite often, and I'm hoping to tap your expertise on this. Uh, uh, I actually own a TD Ameritrade, and of course, it was announced today that Schwab was buying it, and the uh -huh. price on the stock took off. And okay. uh, I, just my own experience has been uh, usually uh, the, the euphoria is a lot higher than uh, what the ending price ends up being when the the deal is done. So I was wondering if you could see if you could apply some of your techniques to give me some idea of how much I might be able to squeeze out of this. Uh, I would tell you what I'm going to give you my two cents worth, and that's exactly what you have to pay for it, Tim, okay? Uh, two things. Okay. First of all, I don't know if you know this or not, but Charles Schwab, the original dude, he bought U.S. Steel from Andrew Carnegie in 1929 for $450 million, I believe, okay? Hmm. It, took him, I don't remember, something like 28 years or something to recoup his investment, but no one really knows what actually happened. Personally, I do not like Charles Schwab, and I'll tell you why. When I moved here to Tucson in 94, uh, I was only here about six months, and I was uh, giving a lecture at the University of Arizona in the Stuart Udall School of Business Management, and the director of the school, or of that department, came up to me and said he had a problem, and his problem was that the, the, his secretary uh, had an account with Charles Charles Schwab, and you know they had done some things that he didn't think were right, and he asked if I would look at it, and I did, and it was really flagrant. And I had done I had done over 30 cases as an expert witness, so I'm not I'm not a rookie when it comes to looking at accounts, and I knew that this was really bad, and so I. Uh, uh, I went down to see Charles Schwab with uh, an attorney that they had hired, and we tried to talk to them. And they said, "Oh, this is you know totally wrong." And I, I, I said, yeah, "All you have to do is go to arbitration." I said, "This is a flat-out no-brainer." I said, "You know, you're not going to lose this case. It's impossible to lose this case." And uh, so they did, and they won. So I, I don't really, you know, and Charles, you know, Charles Schwab didn't even have a legal department. This was '94. They didn't have a legal department. They jobbed everything out to people who didn't know what they were doing. So I, I don't have a lot of faith in Charles Schwab. They're, you know, they're very successful and everything, but uh, I would I would take every chance I could get to to get out of that before it becomes part of Charles Schwab. Now that's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. But that's uh, all you're going to have to pay is two cents, Tim. Well, I thought you might be able to see some type of uh, Fibonacci number that. Might, oh, oh, oh! Uh, you know, I never through. thought of looking. That would be a good idea. You know what the you know what the symbol is for TD Ameritrade? AMTD. AMTD. Okay, give me a second here. Hold on a second. I'll get this up here. And since you're kind enough to say it's going to, I'm, I'm switching data here. So AAMTD. Okay, I got that. Go to daily and let's see if we can get this thing up and take a look at it. Uh oh, it's going to take me a little bit longer than I wanted to, but uh, where is it trading right now, Tim? Uh, well, in the pre market, I think it was 51 and 25, something like that. Okay, let me give it. It should be ready now. Let's give it uh, AMTD. There it is. All right, and let's see where it is. Uh, it closed at 41. Now it's at 51. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this has been in a big downtrend. I'd 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 run for the hills on this puppy. It's a much weaker than market stock, and you're trading exactly at the 78% retracement of the whole year's range from 2019, at uh, 51 and a half. Okay, so it sounds like right here is a is a good bet. Uh, yep, between between <laughs> between my mouth and God's ears. <laughs>
you know, hey, I, hey, I don't know where it's going to go from here for the reasons sure. that I guess just because, well, you've got a huge gap, you know, island, all this stuff, you know, maybe it'll go up. Let's look at the weekly just for heck. I ought to, ought to put the chart in here. Let's just watch this here. Oh, this is, uh, this is, well, I can see why they're buying it because it's cheap, but I, uh, right. I frankly, hold on one second here, Tim, and let me get this up here so that you can see it. Uh, they're giving you a 25% uh, bonus for buying it. Or for selling it, you know what I mean, and the uh, the long term. Oh, you're right at the long term six one eight here at fifty one seventy one. I I would be. I that's my two cents worth. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather be long or short this stock coming in this morning? Well, I was actually thinking about shorting it after I sold it. Actually. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I think that they probably you know they overpaid for. Um, Oh, I'm going to be quiet. And it's, what was that quote? Was it's better to be quiet and thought a few a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. I think that was Charles Dickens, but I'm not sure. But anyway, good luck to you with it, my friend. I hope it uh, I hope it works out. I'll start looking at it, and if it keeps going up forever, uh, you're welcome to come out to Tucson for a free lunch. Hey, I may take you up on that. Uh, I was thinking about coming out that way anyway. So uh, uh, now Please we have it recorded uh, that you're going to buy me lunch. Okay. I will buy you lunch. That's <laughs> McDonald's right across the street, so we're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tim, thanks for calling us, and a happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Happy Thanksgiving to you and uh, your family as well. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, folks. Folks, when I share these stories, please take them with a uh, uh, this is going back to history and stuff. And uh, that, that's really what I'm uh, you know, paying attention to. So if you'll uh, just keep that in mind, I hope that uh, it helps out. We'll be right back after we take this few minutes for, from our sponsors, 877-927-648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'll get on to bonds here in just a second, but Mr. Z's asked a question about how I got started doing expert witnessing. Uh, it was in 1985 after I had left a commodity corporation. They gave you a six-month leave. Uh, I was never thinking of going back because I was going through a divorce, and my good friend Eddie Horowitz was an attorney, and he was handling stuff for Gibson, Dunn & Crutcher, Kiesel, Young & Logan, and a couple other law firms, and he needed help on some cases, and so he asked asked me if I would help, and I said I'd be more than happy to. It was $150 an hour plus expenses, so it was really easy money, and all we had to do was go through the P&S statements, talk to the brokers, and figure out you know, what was happening. And so I did a total of 30 cases over a period of about four years, and I won every case except one, and that was the case that I was 110% sure that uh, I was going to win. And what happened was the, the guy had lost a lot of money, but I'll, I'll tell you that story too sometime. But uh, anyway, that's how I got started doing it. And uh, it was it was really, uh, it was really, really fun. I had one, I'll tell you two stories. The, sto the, 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 uh, the case that I lost was with Kent Duncan. He had done, uh, Ken Dunn Records. Uh, he had uh, 72 gold al gold and platinum albums. Uh, he was a producer. I mean, he, he knew, I've told you the story with uh, 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 Stevie Wonder, he he knew, you know, gosh, he knew everybody personally. It was just really amazing. And, and, and <laughs> Ricky Nelson. Anyway, it was just a, a and, and he had been he had been trading the Japanese yen at. Uh, Bateman Eichler in Santa Maria with a broker there, and uh, he was doing pretty good, and I had showed him little ABCD stuff, and so he really got involved in it, and he was trading and making making a lot of money. He was making 20, 30 grand a month trading to Japanese yen, and then his father passed away, and I called him, and we were pretty good friends, and I told him, I said, please stop trading, Ken, I said, because you know, when you have a death in a family like that, I mean, you just, you just never do well when that happens, and he said, okay, I'll stop trading. Well, he didn't stop trading. Anyway, what happened was uh, he got into a situation where he'd ran his account up to four, $490,000. He started with about a hundred grand and then he got it down to zero. And uh, so he came to me and showed me what happened and his broker was just churning the hell out of it. I mean, he was just really, <laughs> this was really bad. And anyway, he went through the whole thing and uh, we went to the court and uh, the, excuse me, to arbitration, and the arbitration said, look, this guy's in a record business. He understands risk. You know, he's got the capital. You know, he's a big boy. He should have put his big boy pants on, and, you know, he's, we're not going to give him any money. So that's that's the way it happened. Well, anyway, we, we remained friends, and he stopped trading. And then about a, two or three months later, now maybe maybe six months later, he we were out to dinner, and he said, you know, I got a settlement from my from my dad's estate today. And uh, I said, well, that's really great. I'm glad to hear that. You know, he didn't need the money. He said, Larry, he said, you want to guess how much it was? And I said, I guess it's within about 25 cents of how much money you lost trading the Japanese yen. And he said, no, it's about $10 difference. And so, folks, if anything happens in your life where you've got a divorce or a death in a family, for God's sake, don't trade. Commodity Corporation had a full-time psychiatrist on the staff for stuff like that. So it's very, very important. Just let's uh, remember that, okay? Now, get on to the bondolis. This very, very important in the bondolis. We want to look at these very, very closely. I did a whole chart on these puppies, and I want to be able to see if I can find this chart, and I did. And then where we go, because we hit a major, major number up there last night as you guys were sleeping. And where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Shut the front door and raise the rent, Larry. You got to I, I mark these up. I put the names on them, and I've got so darn many of them that I can't, uh, I can't find the darn things. Oh, shucks. 
Ah, oh, it. Anyway, uh, but when we hit that number last night in the bonds at uh, 160.30, I've got to find this chart because that explains the whole thing in bonds. I mean, it's just so easy to see if you can look at that. And I, uh, what time is it? We got four minutes to do it. I'll do it on the next runaround. Oh, you know what I'll do? I've got time here since this is our show. Let's just go up here and we will get up here to the old Bondolis and get them up here. And I know I've got it on file. Uh, 40, I knew it was an hourly chart. Is this it? Da, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, we are there. That's not fair. Hold on just a second here. Get the right chart up. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is it. Okay. All right. Uh, th this is it. Let me see. This is uh, still a very bearish chart, by the way. Just give me a second here, boys and girls. Okay, here's the bonds. Last night, when we hit 160.30, I want you to look at something very, very important, folks, because you see where it says 1.618 there? Okay, that's the 1.618 expansion from the low that we had on the 7th up to the 13th. And then you see we went sideways for three days, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. Then we took off, measure that A, B, C, D leg, and it's going to take you exactly to 160.28, which is this 1.618 expansion. It is also the 78% retracement from November the 1st. We're already down a little more than a handle already this morning. So this is still a bearish chart. Look at the look at the lower tops. Look at the lower bottoms. There's trouble in River City in the bond market, boys and girls. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. I think it's uh, something that you really need to do. Anyway, that's my two cents, and I'm sticking to it. I hope that helps with the bonds. All right, let's move. On. Let's see if we had another question in the den here. Okay, let's move on to something here. I want to talk about here. We had a very nice. Uh, one second here. Get this out of the way. Way, move this over. We had a very nice chart from uh, one of our listeners, and I want to bring it up to you to let you take a look at it. And you'll see here, this was his uh, chart of wheat. Uh, this is the March wheat contract. And there was his reasons why he did all these things. He had like 13 different reasons to buy the March wheat. And it's got a nice profit in it, as you can see. And the, and the two things, folks, when you've got a black background like that, uh, that's not good. Uh, Commodity Corporation also, you know, did some work on that. And black backgrounds are not good. Make it muted or white or something, but don't use black. That's my two cents, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's take a look at that wheat. Now, what I suggested to this young man is that you've got, you know, something that looks really good here, but you just got two doggone many lines. It just doesn't. You could do it with a whole lot less lines, and it would be a, a lot easier to say, a, a lot easier to see. So, what I suggested him to do was to just go and uh, look at it. And so here, here's March wheat on a four-hour chart. We'll get up here and take a look at that. And I know some of you did this trade because you had already emailed about it. Look at this. You have a beautiful – remember, this is over two weeks from the end of October to the 17th of November. Look at that. Look at the nice little ABCD pattern. And look where it's setting. It's setting a 61% retracement of the November, uh, September low. You got a beautiful ABCD, perfect in price and time at 504. It's now up, uh, you know, 750 bucks. So uh, that's the easier way to do it. Now, you know, if you're good at using moving averages and stuff like that, like uh, Steve Rhodes and Basil Chapman and Tom can do, then that's great. But if you're new at doing this, then don't uh, don't worry too uh, don't worry too much about it. And you know, and if you did this, you can certainly reduce the number of reasons to buy the trade from about 13 all the way down to three but if you want to use 13 then that's okay but remember you're the one that's doing it you know i'm just giving you what i see when i'm looking at the pattern so 877-927-6648 If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%.
A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks. Uh, Tiger from the TFNN room asked me a question. Is uh, since we missed the uh, uh, overnight, it happened in the bonds at that uh, one sixty thirty area. How would I enter the trade, uh, folks? Uh, one of the people that I highly respect, Tom Hugard. Uh, we did a seminar with him if, in September in the UK, and. Uh, all I did for my seminar was to look at what Tom had done making what he had made. And I'm just going to show you a picture here. Uh, this happens to be the uh, Dow Jones. I'll get this up here. Uh-oh, I guess I'll have to uh, – oh, I've got, to, I've got to take a picture of it, boys and girls. So give me a second here. How do I do that? Uh, save as. I think this will do it. Uh, let me go to the desktop. Uh, that's not going to work. Yeah, maybe it is. Hold on. Anyway, basically what Tom does is he trades thrust in the market. And uh, I want to hopefully I've got this doggone thing that will come up here. We'll take a – ah, it popped up. Very good. Let's get up here. Let's hear. So here is what he does. Let me just get a thing up here. All right. And I'm going to have a little question here. All right. Here it is. This is the uh, this is the S&P – or excuse me, the Dow Jones. Just consider this is the bonds, okay, because it hasn't happened in the bonds yet. You see you have the top up there, and you miss the top, okay? It comes down, and it rallies up, okay? It, sell that 382 retracement. That's what what he does. He sells the three eight two retracement, and then he presses it when it goes below the low uh, where you measured the three eight two. In other words, you go from the high down to the low up to the three eight two. Once you break the three eight two retracement, he starts pressing. Now he's already pressing right now. He just posted this, and so I just want to see what's happening. We have an extended bar. That means uh, you know it's heading down a little bit, at least a short period of time. But that's that's exactly what he does. I did a whole thing one two full days on this, and it's an incredible thing to look at, folks. It really is. Go look at it. Like defy human nature, prove it to yourself. That's what I would suggest you do. Now, here's the question here. I want you to tell me how many points, points that Tom made trading the DAX in 2019 so far. Can someone guess how many points he's made? Not dollars, just points. 
How many points has he made trading the DAX? Uh, he's published this, so it's not a, it's not a mystery. <laughs> no, Bill, it's higher than three. <laughs> it's higher than 2000, or 2019 is the year, and we're in November, so we got five weeks to go. And anyway, you, you want to guess? It's more than 500, and it's more than 1,000. And it's more than it's more than two thousand. You ready? Fourteen thousand points trading the DAX for two thousand nineteen. That's plus. That's not counting. That's counting the losses. That's net. So that uh, that so he is definitely in the class of a super trader. So, and he'll be he'll be in tomorrow. But he's very humble. He shares what he knows, and uh, but he's good. You know, he's 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 does things that uh, people do to get it right. So we'll see. No, no, Mike, Mike, it, no, 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 no. It's a total points, not not from up and down. It's up and down. He uses the DAC. He uses the futures on the DAC. He uses CFDs. Contract for differences is what he used, Bill. In the in Europe, they can't trade U.S. futures, so they use CFDs. That's contract for differences. It's exactly the same thing. What they do is they bypass the uh, NFA and the CFTC, uh, and that's that's why they uh, that's why they do that. So those are just a few things to uh, to look at. But uh, I would highly recommend you take a look at what he does because all you have to do is to go to www.tradertom, and he'll send you his book. He outlines pretty much what he's doing. He's selling strength and uh, buying weak, or excuse me, <laughs> he's uh, buying strength and selling weakness. That's what he does. So whether that means much or not, I don't know, but that's the way it goes. Okay, let's. Uh, there's the old Bondolis. I want to get this up here. Here's the German Bund, if you remember here way back in August. We were making those multiple ABCD patterns on a long-term daily basis. Turned out to be the right thing. We've gone from 180 all the way down to 169. We've had the same rally here. See the rally here that we had in the bonds? That's ex almost exactly what we did last night in the in our Treasury bonds. You can see that 0.84 is uh, uh, it's just a shade off at 0.786 for trading purposes are almost exactly the same thing. And so that's what we're watching here. But the bond problem, there is a problem in the credit markets. I don't think there's any question about that. So we'll see if that uh, helps at all. Okay, let's move on. I want to talk about losing something, and that is something we need to pay attention to a lot of times. And I think this is it. We've been talking about the little piggies. And we were talking to those with Ruby yesterday about that. This is Christmas. These are Christmas hogs. And as you'll notice here, they opened they they opened slightly lower. And and I, I when we were on the air when that happened, and that was at 60, uh, 61 and change, sixty one fifty five or something. I said it's no good. And if you'd have done that, you know, you'd have made a, had a, had, a, had a nice trade. But when these things fail, when they gap down like that, folks, especially when you've got extremely bullish news. I mean, you, know, you can tell right now the bullish news is so, certainly fake because they're telling you that there's a, you know, epidemic of uh, swine flu over in uh, in uh, China. And if you believe that, uh, I still have those two shares in the Brooklyn Bridge. So. Don't don't pay any attention to the news. Uh, then you, this is why I'm a technician, folks. You know, it's because I I've, I've been there, done that, been bitten on the kabuki. So it's not fun. So just remember, when the news is not good, and prices go up, that's a really bullish sign. Okay. Uh, pork bellies. Uh, no, the pork bellies are gone. They used to. We used to love trading those. Anyway. Well, it's it's been around for a long time, Terry, this stuff, but it's just getting totally out of control. I mean, it's just I've never seen it as bad as it is right now. Now, I want to share with you uh, something from our LA Wave boys that uh, they're looking at some things here that I think look interesting. Since we were talking about the bonds, I want to get this up here because I think this is where the inherent problem is going to be if we do get into a uh, correction here. Uh, you can see here at the top there where it says, see you later, risk taker. Well, you can see the ABCD pattern that they mark there, A, B, C, D, and at point D. Okay, that A, B, C, D, folks, is a three drive to a top pattern. And if you can see the A, B, C, D, and D, that is a butterfly pattern. Okay, these are all extensions numbers up there so uh, pay uh, keep a uh, keep close eye on it 
So uh, I think when it comes, it's going to be uh, – they, they, there's so much complacency in the market out there. When, when if, if it does come, and I don't know if it will or not, but if it does, you know, it's going to be uh, – they're gonna they're gonna spank some people would be my guess. You want to be the spanky. You don't want to be uh, no. You want to be the spank or not the spanky when you do this. <laughs> Keep your losses small. Let your profits run. Uh, remember tomorrow we're going to have uh, Tom Hugard is going to be my guest tomorrow. We'll have a chance to chat with him. Can ask him questions. Probably he'll probably answer them without too much trouble. He's very, he's quite humble actually, and he's got a lovely family and everything. Uh, how can someone tell me how the TD Ameritrade is uh, trading? I want to know if Tim in Cleveland's ever going to speak to me again. It is a family show. You betcha. I, you know. <laughs> okay, that's okay. You know, folks, it, I've been doing this for 12 years now, and I have never. Uh, if I have slipped, I don't think I've ever. I've never said any curse word. Uh, it's trading at 49.81, and it got out at 51. Tim, send me commission. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're back, and I'm going to put up the chart, by golly. Uh, the TD Ameritrade actually is uh, has, has, has sold off a bit. Hold on, let's get this puppy up here. Uh, see, we went up there, and uh, it got as high as 150, what was it, 151? 151.94. It's now trading four dollars lower at 47.79. Remember, you heard it here on a lucky call. I finally got it right, Tommy. After 12 years, baby, we're smoking, baby. We can do it, you and me. All right, let's move on to the next one here. Uh, I'm not on drugs, folks. I'm just very, very happy today. Hold on, just a second. Move up. I'm always happy every day. Uh, let's move up to the next one. We want to cover is the uh, shucks. Where is it? Uh, got it. Uh, finally got one right after all these years. Boy, that's just a that just makes me feel just happier than a ah oh, shucks. Oh, Bitcoin shut the front door. Here it is. This one's this was in big trouble, folks. Here's Bitcoin. People have asked about this. There you go. Uh, we're down here. We're a little below the 786 this morning, folks. So uh, anything below 8,000 in this makes it very, very suspect from the bullish side. That's uh, that's what it looks like anyway. And I believe we are we are below that. Here it is this morning. Let me get this updated. That was yesterday's. We'll get this one up here today. And uh, uh, Okay, Mr. Z is asking a question about uh, tell us the year your friends wrote the Pesavento pattern. That was 1995. 1995 is when they did it over a weekend when I was up there at uh, Salt Lake City giving a lecture. Uh, they just wrote it for me. I spent a hundred grand trying to get that thing done. Then two of my students that were that started that MT4 stuff, two Russian programmers did it also. But the Arringtons did it for me. And it helps to look at the patterns quickly. You know that's really what you're looking at. So remember, I'm not a fundamentalist, folks. Uh, that's the understatement of the year. Hey, we're coming to the end of the line tomorrow. Don't miss the show. We're going to have Tom on. Hopefully, Dave. David Paul also. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.